I push the red record button. I've never made a video like this, never tried to talk so openly to strangers. Icy sweat trickles down my back. I don't know what to say or how to begin. My face beams back at me, pale and thin from the time I spent in the hospital. I wear a small white bandage on my forehead, and I'm still feeling the effects of the concussion. Bright lights make me wince like a vampire exposed to the sun. If I move too quickly, I get nauseated, and my ears won't stop ringing. It's time to talk. My phone is recording, and I can't just sit here staring. I almost turn it off, shut it down. But I need to talk. I need to get this out. Hi, I say, before realizing how simple that sounds. My name is Hunter Gifford. I'm 17 years old, a senior. I don't know, maybe a lot of you already know who I am. I guess everything that happened has been in the news. That's why I've stopped looking at my phone or talking to anybody. Or maybe they've stopped talking to me. I'm not really sure, but it has the same effect. Normally, I like to write things down to make sense of my life, but I haven't been able to write since the accident. I just stare at the blank page and nothing comes out. So I decided to give this a try. I clear my throat and watch the red light. My face looks even whiter than when the video started, if that's possible. I remind myself to keep talking. I'm making this video because of all the things that happened that night, because of the accident, and because my girlfriend, Chloe Summers, hasn't been seen since then, a whole week ago. She was in the car that night, but no one has seen or heard from her since. I guess I should back up. I think she was in the car that night. She should have been. We've been dating. We went to homecoming together. I try to swallow again, but I can't produce any spit. We went everywhere together, so I assume we left the dance together, but I don't know for sure. Because of the accident and what happened to my head, I see myself point to the bandage 